I'm Jude Merrill and I'm the artistic producer of Travelling Light Theatre Company. So Travelling Light is a company which was founded in Bristol 30 years ago, in fact 31 years ago now. We celebrated our 30th anniversary last year and it's a company which specialises in making work for young audiences. So I went to see SICAP form storytelling back in the old days, I can't remember how long ago that was, um, at the Tali, Bristol Tali restaurant and he was doing these lovely stories of old India and in between the stories he'd talk about his family and I thought the family stories were particularly lovely and interesting and human and when I said this to him afterwards he said oh I'm actually writing a story, a play about my family at the moment so this was great so I went to see the play which was The Tiger and the Moustache and that was a brilliant story really engaging, all about how his parents um, came to Britain from Bangladesh and uh, it was a fascinating story and I took my grandson who was 10 at the time and he really loved it but he wanted to know more about SICAT so that set me thinking yeah it would be really nice to know about SICAT and I bet other children would like to know about SICAT's childhood too and how what it was like um, so I knew a few stories about it he told me and so we had a chat about it and um, we together came up with the idea he would write a story about what it was like to grow up as a second generation immigrant in this country and through the telling of that story make it would reach out to um, children and young people of all ages really about it was it was going to be very much about identity and about discovering who you are and when we were talking we decided that's a major preoccupation for young people is deciding who they are, no matter what their cultural background, no matter if they've got a cultural split like SICAT has, every young person is deciding what sort of person they're going to grow up to be. The process for Strictly Balti, once we had the script, was to work on it with other professionals. So um, we brought in Sally Cookson to direct the show because we have a close relationship with her, Saika has a close relationship with her and that was a really interesting way of working I think because it was mainly Saika and Sally and I working in the room and the play evolving from from our thoughts and processes but we also had um, a designer, we had Katie Sykes who's designed a lot of our shows and is a lovely minimalist designer and we were really keen for the set to be really um, simple that so Sycat could tour it on his own. And then the other really important aspect is we brought in a musician, Pete Judge, who we've worked with several times before, to um, create music for the piece, to help create moods and um, locations and place and help, really help tell the story. So that's become quite a powerful part of the piece. So Strictly it, I think it resonates with everybody about, it makes us all think about stories from our own childhood. And for me particularly, the ballroom dancing was quite amusing and interesting. I hadn't thought for years about how the fact that I was also made to take ballroom dancing lessons when I was about 10 or 11. I actually hated them and my parents were kind enough to allow me to stop doing them, unlike Sycat's parents. Um, I also had an aunt and uncle who taught ballroom dancing and I remember my Uncle Stan saying to me, Judith will never be a dancer because she walks like a duck. And this is when I was about three. And I think this is stuck in my head. So I didn't really enjoy my ballroom dancing lessons very much. Ah.